so welcome back and now today we are going to look at this pop-up here this pop-up that uh, when you click here in the original project here you'll see we'll have this pop-up here so this is what we are going to create today so let's see what we'll do with this uh, by clicking this uh, pop-up here so uh, when you click here also you'll be the page will be reloaded and you won't see you'll be redirected back to the home so let's get into a project here and then look at how we will create that pop-up so this is where we reached uh, yesterday or the day that we were uh, coding this search bar here so what we'll do we we'll go back to our code here and in our nav bar here i'll just create a state because i want this pop-up to be an a, a component that is so what i'll do i'll just come here and then after that i'll import uh we'll use uh import and then i'll import uh use state from react i think something of the sort so i'll be importing use state here so you can see we have use effect but we want to use it right now and again here i want to create that state so our component uh, we i will call it register because that is when the re the user will be registering in order for them to be notified whenever we have a new uh, event that is uploaded so i will just add that here uh, use state here first of all and then i'll add it to be false first of all by default it will be false so after that now what we'll do we just say the register here we just say register and then after that now the other thing that we'll do is uh, we'll say set register set register here just like that so you can see that and uh, by default right now what i'll do i'll just also create that true to 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 be true that is so i'll just create that to be also to be true uh, in order for us to see what we are coding so the other thing is that i want to create now that component so to create that component what we'll do we we'll just uh, come here and then i'll create register here component and as we are doing in this video we are using this shortcut to create a component so this is the component that we are going to build uh, we are going to build our pop-up just like a component here so we can come here and the other thing that we'll do now is to it to show by condition so first of all to show by condition we need to do we need to do something here so first of all what i'll do is that i will cut everything here and i want to give it to to add this a uh, fragment here and then add my code here first of all let me format my code because i see i have a lot of spaces so when i format that code you can see now it looks prettier so down here now what i can do I can add i can look for the condition register here and then in here if i have register or if register is true then i can show the register component so i just add register component you can see it uh, here it is out, out of completion so i can add it just like that and then that's okay now so you can see here we have register and here we are checking for register and then we can do now register here we can show register component so now inside this here is where now we can start doing other things so let's first of all uh, come here in uh, in our program here you'll see register we need to see register somewhere so it is reloading as you can see here in the bottom right and you can see here we have register that is because the register state is true so what i'll do now let's go back and in here i will do several things so here we need now to start coding the uh, register 
our register component. So remember, we'll be using position absolute because you can see the pop-up that is register is above everything. So what we'll do now, we'll need to add this as first of all called the uh, this is first of all code here in our class in our register and first of all i want to create before i forget i want to create the styles so as we are doing here so here i will add a register a register and then a register and then module module dot css so this is module dot css just something of the sort now so let's go back here and in here let me also look for these styles here uh, because i don't want to waste a lot of time i will just copy it here and change uh, here to register component here register uh, register css that is sorry for that so register css so in here now what i'll do is i'll need uh, to to, uh, to create a to create a div and this div now i can use styles i can say it is uh, styles dot register first of all so now let's go back here and look at the more uh, the at this uh, module here at this uh, pop-up here and you can see we have two types uh, we have this part here and we have this part here so what i'll do i will just uh, first of all let me uh, go back here and first of all i will create those two parts so let's start with the first part so the first part we will call it register item and then the other one will call it uh, i will give it uh, another we'll call it image uh, so we'll have two parts so the very first part here that holds inputs we'll call it let's call it register item so i'll just say uh, here I'll just say class and then in here i'll just say styles styles uh, dot register and underscore item something of the sort and then after that now uh, what i'll do is that i will add another div inside it so inside this uh, we'll have another div here and this div here will give a class class name here and here i'll just say styles here and in here also i'll add a register a styles and then register uh, input underscore input something of the sort and now the other thing is that inside here now also i'll have another div here and this div here i'll add it, i'll add a class a class name and the class name here will be so here will be styles and dot back uh, it will be dot uh, back button here so uh, back button uh, all back home let's call it back home so you can see now inside here now is where we'll have that button so for uh, going back to home or reloading our page so in here i'll just say this one is back home back home so this one is back home here so after that now uh, what i'll do is that i'll go ahead and after this div here i'll just say span and i'll say fill uh, fill in the form to get notified to get notified to get notified of uh, events that is so to get notified of events and now after that now i say now we need to have a label a label here and this label here will have the name and the input after that we need to have an input here 
So an input here and our input here will have a placeholder, a placeholder that will say John Doe, something of the sort. And then we need to have another another label. And this label here will be for the email. So here is we have email and then we we'll have an input also. And this input here will have a placeholder also. So a placeholder, a placeholder here, and I say John Doe at gmail dot com. So the other thing is that we need to have a input also our label. So we need to have a label here. So a label, and then I'll say phone because we can add up email and phone. Uh, so that we can notify our users using either of them. So here we can have an input and then in here I want to add a placeholder, placeholder and then I can add any number. So I'll just add any number, uh, something of the sort. So it's just a random number and I want also to first of all format here. And if you don't know what I'm using to format, I'm using Prettier. So you can go ahead and install Prettier extension in your VS Code. And then you'll be able to format your code just the way you're seeing I'm um, doing. So after that, I will do, I'll add another button here. And this button here will, will say get notified. Get notified. Yeah, something of the sort. So after that, now we need the other div. We need to have the other div uh, for the for the image because right here you can see we have we have image. When you click here, uh -huh, not this one. You can here you can see here we have this image here. So what can I do? Uh, I'll just say you can see here even we are seeing everything that we have. So inside here, what I'll say. Or what I will add here is now the, the other div. So this is the other div. I will add it here. So let's add that div here after our, our item here. So I'll just say this one. And it will have a class name here. And our class name here, I'll call it styles. Styles and then dot image. And then after that, I will have a div also, a div here. And our div here will be having a div that will have a class name. This class name here will be styles, uh, styles, okay, this styles here, uh, styles dot image underscore title. So underscore title, something of the sort. And then here I'll just say span here. So I'll just say span and then uh, party, party, uh, party like, party like uh, there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. So you can see it here. So that's all that I wanted to add here. So now we can go to the styling now. So Let's uh, go to the styling and in here because you can see here we have like let's see here we have this background image. We'll be looking at uh, Pixapay. So Pixapay here and Pixapay is where you can get free image to use. Uh, so very good quality images. So in here you can come here and look for images. So let's uh, come inside here and say events you can say events and then you can see images that you can use so right here we have several images so and uh, this is where i got the image so if you look here you can see this is the image that i have used so let's look if it is the same yeah i think it's the same and uh, I, I think it's the same or it's not the same anyway we can use it can use it and you can see here we can download for free so let's download it 
so here i'll just uh, do now the caption here just say uh, let me solve this puzzle so i think uh, let's see here so i think that's okay so now i can download that so after a while you should see it is downloading uh, i don't know why it's saying here server error zero so i think i think i did some mistake here so let's just try to download it again so here you need to do capture and recapture so after that you can see you need to show like traffic rights here to solve it and then you can say verify and then download so you can see here we have had this now image in our download but we will use it later so let's go back here and what we'll do now i'll just go back into our coding and then i will just go to register here so in our register here is where we now need to style our component and our component remember is a model it's just a model uh, that we are popping up when we click on get notified so let's see how the styling will be will work for it for this component so i'll just say dot register first of all so uh, you can go with me or you can just uh, look and then you will record later so i just say 100 bh and then wind have a wind of also on 100 percent the other thing that we can have is our background color or our background color here and the background color i'll say lgba because i want to have a variation of or a light black or transparent uh not very transparent uh background so zero and then 0 0.4 here 0 0.4 just something of the sort so after that now i want to do position absolute because i want it to be above everything so position absolute and also i'll say top zero top zero to position it top zero and then i'll say right right also to be zero and the other thing is that you need to do index z index to be 999 to be on top of everything and then now we can go back we can go and look for register so register and then underscore item here and then after that now inside here i can say display flex display flex and then i can say background color our background color to be white something of the sort and then i can add height to be 60 87 let's say 87 percent and i'm using percentage because it would be easier for us to do responsiveness using percentage when we are using percentage so i'll just say width to be 60 percent and then margin i can say a margin of five pig five percent and then 20 percent this is a bottom bottom uh, top to bottom and then right to left so after that now the other thing that we need to use is uh dot register here and then underscore input input and then up. now inside here we can see this one is the first part and here we can give it a flex of one so flex one here and then we can say display flex here and then it will be flex direction column so flex flex direction to be column the other thing that we need to have is our margin our margin should be five percent something of the sort and then the other thing is to justify container to be center something of the sort so the other thing now that we need is to let's say register 
uh, register and then underscore input here but this time i want to get the label so label here we say font width let's have a font weight of 900 and the other thing is that we need to have a margin a margin of uh, five five pixels and then here we need to have zero pixels and the other thing is font size so font size will be let's say 18 pixels so and then the other thing that you need to have is a register here and then the other thing that i will look at is uh, input and then input here yeah, the input inside the register input so here i'll just say padding and i say seven pixels and then font size font size here i want it will be 15 pixels something of the sort so you can see how it looks and then the other thing that we need to look at is register uh, in input and then the span so register input and then the span so inside here we can say font width let's font width to be uh let's say 700 700 and then the other thing is that we need to have a margin so a margin of uh, let's say 20 pixels and zero pixels so the other thing that we need to do is to target the button so to target the button here i'll just say input and then the button so this is the button and then let's go back here so the button and the button we can say a background color a background color of the other color that we used earlier f uh f9 and then 64 and then uh, 90 something of the sort uh, something of the sort the other thing that we need to do is to say border none so this is border none and then the other thing is we say padding to be 10 pixels and then we need to have a color color of let's say f99 f uh, f and then uh, something of the sort and then font width font width to be 900 the other thing that we need to have is now font size font size font size of let's say 15 pixels and then the other thing is margin top margin top of uh, let's say 20 pixels so something of the sort so right now we can look at how it looks so let's come back here and that is you can know, you can see after it has load you can see we have like this here uh, this uh, model here so after that now we can go and uh, style the other part here we need to have this part here now that holds the image if you look here we have this part that holds the image here so after that now we need let's go back and then in here now we go to the other part so the other part we called it the image and the image we have flex flex of three flex of three and right now you'll see that this part the other part will have a small you can see it is small than the because we have given this part flex of three but we can give it even the flex of two here yeah. so let's see if we give it a flex of two so i think flex of two is uh, great so the other thing now is to also to look at background here because you need to have a background gradient so actually let's look at how this one the other one how it looks so you can see here this one have a uh, like a background gradient and to do that let's do this let me let me have a copy the gradient and also the image 
So actually, we won't be using the image that I downloaded. We can use the online image. So you need to add this here. You can add uh, the background image here. And then you can use linear gradient and you can see to the left. And I have given it the gradient of zero of this RGBA here. So I'll just for format my code here to look at least uh, good enough. And then after that, let's go back and see how it looks, our pop-up, how it looks. So you can see here, we have this. We have this image here, but you can see our image is repeating itself and we don't want to do that. So let's go back here and continue styling it. So in here, I'll just say now uh, background, background size. So to be cover, something of the sort. The other thing is the background position. So background position should be center. And then we have the height, height to be 100%. And then the width will be 100%, 100%. So 100% there. So that's all there. And then let's see how it will look now. So right here you can see. So it should, after it has loaded, it should change. And uh, or let me say here, yeah, the other thing is that we need to have uh, a no bug, no, no to repeat. So I just say, so let me, uh, let me continue coding it. So first of all, let me add position apps, uh, relative. So I just say position relative. So actually you can say background repeat and then i can say no repeat so that our image doesn't repeat itself so let's see if it will change here yes you can see now it doesn't have to repeat itself so let's go back and then we can code the others and uh, we can style the everything else so to style the other thing is that we can say dot image underscore title here I, and I can style it, um, can say height, height will be, let's say 20%. And then the other thing is width, width to be, will be 20% also. And then we'll have now, we'll have now background, background color. And then background color, we'll have right now, we'll have our HBA, but this time we'll be using the other one for the white color, like a white, but a transparent white. So I'll just copy it and then let me paste it here. And then the other thing that we need to have is position and then position absolute, just something of the sort. And then you can say bottom, uh, bottom to be 20 pixels. So the other thing is that we can have a margin of, let's say 5%. And then we can say, let's go and check back home. So back home here. And then inside back home here, we can say display flex, display flex. And then we can also say align items, align items to be center. And the other thing is that we can have justify content and say justify content and then say flex end. And the other thing now in here is margin bottom. And here we can say 20%. And the other thing is now we need to style the back or the back uh, button, back home button that is. So back home button we can see you need to have a font size, a font size of 15 pixels. And then the other thing is that you need to have a cursor, a pointer, something of the sort. So now the last styling that we need to have here is to style the span. So I'll just say image, title, and then the span. 
So after that now we can say display flex. Uh, say display flex and then you can add also a line item center. A line, a line item center and then justify content center. So this is center and then the other thing is to say color. Color should be this white color here. So the other thing is font weight and font weight to be 900. The other thing is the font size. Font size to be 25 pixels. And then font family. Font family will be Roboto. Roboto. Then the other thing is that you need to have a margin also margin of 30 pixels and then the other thing is text uh, text uh, transform because i want to capitalize so text transform and then say capitalize something of the sort now so let's uh, save everything and then let's see how it looks so right here you can see we have this one here but you can see our our card here is uh, we have given it a small uh, percentage of width so we need to come back here and we can look here and we can see the width here we give it to to be 20 percent but it we can we should give it 80 percent so let's look again and how it looks so you can see how it looks so this is our pop-up here and you can see it looks really great so i will end my video here so that we can continue in the next video i will be looking at this to click on this button and then it loads and also again we'll be looking we'll start to look at these cards here down here so let me see you in the next video